Hi, beautiful. If I received a single penny every time I saw somebody use one of these diffuser incorrectly, I would be a fucking billionaire. And when I tell you the reasons why you're using it incorrectly, it's gonna make so much sense and you're gonna be like, wait, <laughs> I wasn't doing that. I was doing that. It's the same damn mistakes over and over again. So we're gonna talk about everything. We're gonna talk about what a diffuser is. I'll also do a little demo today on how to actually properly use one. And I'll be sharing my top three tips on how to use a diffuser correctly. Let's get diffusing. All right, if you've never seen a diffuser before, this is it. There's even some that are like a hand. I use the dice and so for me personally, I don't see a huge difference depending on what diffuser I'm using. It's really about the technique, honestly. But I do see a difference in the blow dryer that is attached to the diffuser. But maybe one day I should do like a test on all different kinds of diffusers and see which one is actually the best. I do love this one. It's good, it's great, it's compact, it's cute. There's a million different holes in here. All the air comes out of these holes, right? But you can also see that up close, there is um, holes in these little teeth coming out and they all point towards each other. That way when you you put your little curls in there, you get heat on both sides in all different directions and it kind of makes like a little like it is great at distributing heat is what I'm trying to get at here. You use it to usually diffuse curls into your hair. It makes your curls tighter. It makes them last longer when you're applying that heat. It's a great way to just dry curls in general. If you can't let them air dry, you don't have the time to do it. It adds a lot more volume sometimes than air drying alone does. It's great for setting hair. If you put hairspray in, just going whoosh and setting that hairspray. It's great for all different things, but today we're talking about the uses of it when it comes to wavy or curly hair. All right, we know what a diffuser is, Brad. We know which one you like. So now we get into the juicy part, which is me telling you my three pro tips. <gasps> Ooh, I'm not ready. Are you? No, a couple of these tips actually has to do with the blow dryer. Okay. This goes whoosh, Love a good magnet. As you can see in this beautiful shot, we have a few different heat settings here. My first pro tip of the night, do not use the highest heat setting when diffusing your hair. I literally never go to the max heat setting when it comes to diffusing hair. I always have it on pretty much number two at all times. This is important because curly hair is naturally really dry. We do not wanna be doing things to make your hair even more dry, which then causes frizz. The diffuser is there to help you maintain your frizz, not add more of it. So when you're drying with a diffuser, do not use high heat. Use something in the middle or lower if you would like. And another thing that you can't do when you use the highest heat setting is actually put your hand on the hair at the same time as the diffuser. You will end up burning your hand. It used to happen to me all the time. It was so painful to try and like grab the hair and point the air on top of my hand. My hand would be like sizzling and I'd be like <laughs> Using your blow dryer on a lower heat setting with the diffuser attached will help you be able to morph those curls at the same time as drying them and not burn your hand off and deep fry it. I know you guys are really obsessed with your air fryers and shit, but this is not an air frying moment. We don't need that here. The next really important tip is to not go all the way up with the air settings. Do not blast your curls dry. I use either number one or number two. It is really low, it is not strong, but I have noticed that is so important to getting the perfect diffused hair moment. Also because curly and wavy hair is very dry, your hair is going to dry very quickly already and you want enough time to actually morph those curls into position. And if you're just blasting it dry really quickly, you are not going to have the time to actually put in the work to make those curls look dope. Don't put your blow dryer on the highest air setting. Okay, we have made it to the most important pro tip of all. This is the number one thing I see everybody do incorrectly and it drives me insane. Do not blow the air upwards. Always have the air flowing towards your head or downwards. Do not blow upwards. You are going to create so much frizz and your curls are gonna look bad. And some of you might be out there being like, listen, I do this all the time and my curls come out fine. Okay, you're lucky. Cause sometimes, somehow, some people have no frizz in their curls at all. And like whatever they do, it dries perfectly. But other people out there are not as lucky. And especially when you're trying to do this kind of fast, going like this is going to be bad. I will show you the technique on how to get flawlessly defined waves or curls without going like this and scrunching your hair with the diffuser. You do not need to do that to make beautiful, extremely gorgeous, tight waves.
wavy, curly, beautiful, gorgeous girl things. Um, yeah. So, so far we have learned three different things that you may be doing wrong when it comes to diffusing hair. Now I'm gonna show you how to exactly get the most out of your diffuser when actually styling your hair. My client has, my client's here. She's here, okay. My client has just arrived, so I'm gonna go grab her and um, we're gonna show you how to make some beautiful waves using this baby. Okay, we have Miss Manny Quinn here. She's looking gorgeous. She definitely has some straight hair. I know what you're thinking, Brad. How are you gonna make this curly? Let me tell you a damn something. If you have mastered the art of using a diffuser and hair products, you can turn this straight hair into a beautiful curly wavy masterpiece and I will show you that today. And that means, you know, you can use these techniques on curly hair and wavy hair, whatever hair you have. I think showing you on straight hair really shows how much you can accomplish with just this one thing attached to your blow dryer. So when it comes to diffusing hair, product is your best friend. When it comes to doing anything with a natural, wavy, curly sort of look, product, product, product. And obviously nobody in the world at this point can live without their wave tech wave foam. Guys, oh, still to this day, I'm just like, I'm so glad you love this and are obsessed with it as much as I am. I spent so long creating this and I was blown away with the results when I created this a couple years ago. It's still to this day, one of the top selling wave products in the world. I'm gonna show you again why product and specifically Wave Tech Wave Foam today is so effective at waving hair. So let me show you what you should do first when you are using a diffuser and how you could apply product. I like foam products for most heads of wavy or curly hair, um, especially when you're trying to like make waves in hair that doesn't have any, a foam is gonna be your best friend. A cream, serums, a gel, anything like that is gonna weigh down your hair. Um, so when you have already hair that has no texture to it, you wanna use a foam. So I'm gonna do what I usually do, which is grab my wide tooth comb, put the wave tech on there and just just get it everywhere. And be generous when applying wave tech. It tends to feel like shampoo is in your hair, but I promise there's no shampoo in here. Some people are really turned off with the fact that it feels like shampoo, which I find interesting. Like why? You're not putting shampoo in your hair, so I don't know why you're like being weird about it. A lot of people also ask about the scent of wave tech. If you've ever smelled my products before, you will know that it smells damn good. And all of our products have the same exact scent. It is just Japanese cherry blossom, bergamot, sandalwood, and white jasmine. So as you can see, I'm just getting all of that product in there. It's getting foamy. It is getting foamy. The more you work this product, the more foamy it gets. Um, but that is a good thing. Please get those sideburns all covered and the underneath of the hair. People always tend to miss those spots and then wonder why like half of their head is curly and half of their head isn't. Get it all in there and also on the root. This is a super lightweight product so you don't have to worry about it like weighing your hair down. Even if it feels like weighed down at first, it'll dry gorgeously. Do not worry if it looks messy. This is how all of my diffusing hair moments start. Now obviously if you have naturally wavy hair, it's gonna look a lot more clean than this, but we are trying to form a curl right now and she doesn't have any. So we are going to put in the absolute most work here. And if you want to see a video on how to air dry your hair properly, I'm not gonna go through all of this steps today, but if you want to see that, it'll be linked below for you. There's about like three different ways to do this, and I fully break down how I'm scrunching, how much to scrunch, and how to form curls if you don't have any, all sorts of things like that. Now, this is where we want it. She looks a little crazy, but she looks good. So inside Wave Tech, we have an amazing product called Polycoternium 72, which is such a mouthful and one of my favorites. And it actually really helps retain style without adding that like crunchy feel to the hair. So it keeps the hair really soft, but also retain style at the same time. Same with Polycoternium 11. It does very similar things. They're both amazing at keeping the hair flexible while adding just an amazing amount of hold to the hair. And of course we have Provitamin B5 in the formula. That way you are improving the quality of your hair and also adding thickness to the hair at the same time. It actually swells the hair fiber so your hair appears more full. Okay, that is looking perfect. I think that's enough. Her hair already looks curly. Like guys, what? How was her hair already curly? Like what? What? Okay, Wave Tag, give it to me. Every time I use it, I'm like shook. And for my client today, because her hair is super straight naturally, I'm gonna be using Salty in here. It has a little bit more hold, a little bit more grip. That salt in this product, the imported salt water from France, which I 
Love the fact that it's imported water from France. It actually kind of gives you a grip so the hair can kind of stick to itself. So it won't fall flat on you if you have super straight hair. This is totally optional. You don't have to use it, but I just think it adds a little bit of that extra kick. It's also just a great finishing product or even on dry hair um, when you want that sexy tousled look. We also have bobab oil in here so your hair doesn't dry out. You know how most sea salt sprays dry out your hair? This one definitely doesn't. I made sure of that when I created it. And also seaweeds inside of this, actually, believe it or not, which is high in vitamins and minerals to help keep the integrity and the health of your hair alive. Okay, it's time for the part we are all waiting for, which is the diffusing technique. Now, let me show you on this side quickly, like my kind of technique, and then I'll go over what I did after. Ooh. And that is the power of a good technique with a diffuser, wave tech, wave foam, and salty sea salt spray. Now let me break down the process. You saw a little bit of it, but I have more to share. We have this side that is actually not dried at all. And remember guys, we started off with straight hair. I cannot stress to you enough that this mannequin has straight hair. And also listen to me here. If you end up buying anything in today's video, beware that it takes skill to make straight hair this wavy, okay? And not all hair is the same. So. As long as you have some sort of tiny, tiny, tiny bit of wave in your hair, you can achieve this look with a diffuser and with some good products. So now let's walk through the process here. So what we're first gonna do is we're grabbing the hair. We're going like this with our hands. We're grabbing the hair from the middle and scrunching the hair and holding it there. We're now going to direct the diffuser on top of our hand and kind of let it in and just slowly and gently keep doing this until the hair is dry. You want to manipulate the hair as little as possible. That way you do not get frizz and that way the curl pattern all stays intact and you're not just creating a nest of grossness on your head. So let's do that really quick. The goal here is to get in that middle wave pattern and then we'll work on the top and the ends last. Now I'm using this kind of like hand cupping method where I'm kind of just balancing the waves we've already formed with the last technique. And now I'm just gonna direct the blow dryer downwards on top of my hand. Now I wanna start working on the front of the hair. So I'm just gonna pick up the front of the hair with my hand like this and add just like a little bit of a bevel and a little bit of volume up there. Now tilt your head to the side you're blow drying currently. And what you're gonna do is use your fingers like this and kind of just clamp onto the hair and push it up. That way you get that wave and that volume starting at the root. And remember to direct the air downwards. Now after that, I'm gonna work on the ends and I'm just gonna again cup the ends and blow dry downwards. Now that we have the hair almost dry, we wanna start breaking up that cast. It's really important that you break up the cast. If you ever use like a waving product, you'll know that there is sort of like a little bit of a hold to it until you break it apart with your hands. But that is so normal and you should feel like that. If your hair was just like silky, silky soft after using a waving product, it probably isn't gonna do anything. So now what I'm gonna do, now that the hair is dry and in place where I like it, I'm gonna start breaking apart that cast and being a little bit more aggressive with the hair. because now that we have that movement, that wave in there, we're not as worried about like getting frizz and things kind of getting weird and gross. Just kind of go at it, you know, dip your head to the side, scrunch it, get it all in there, and just remember to always direct the airflow down or towards the head. Even on the ends, guys, I'm literally taking it and kind of going like this, like roughing up the ends to make them look thicker and fuller. <music> Boom, baby. Oh my God. That is the power of a diffuser. Her hair is naturally pretty much straight. This is the type of thing you can achieve with some practice, with a diffuser, and with the right products and the right 
diffusing techniques. Like this looks amazing, but like let's shake her hair out and see what happens. Like I just love really messy waves. Like imagine if she, oh wait, oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. My God, she's so pretty. Like you can do so many different sexy looks with this hair. Oh my God. <gasps> she looks divine and her hair is not crunchy. Like she's at the beach. She's like, I don't care. Movement, give me movement. And her hair is still not even frizzy guys. See what happens when you diffuse the hair, not upwards, instead downwards or towards the head, along with every other technique I'd showed you in today's video. This is the result you can get. Like this is what we want. We're on a white background right now and she has dark hair. You don't see really any frizz no matter how many times I shake her head. And I also can't emphasize enough the importance of a good product. Hence why Wave Tech is one of the number one waving products in the entire world. It is because it can do things like this. Plus we have to mention Salty. Salty, you really came for this one and really pulled it together. Thank you, Miss Manny Quinn. I hope you like your uh, your new do. You look wild and I love it. So that's it, you guys. When you're diffusing your hair, please follow those tips at home and your results will be literally 10 times better. And if you can't remember everything we went over today, just remember those three main pro tips. They're so simple, yet they affect your diffusion blow dry method so much. But that's it. So follow me everywhere else, you guys. If you would like, here are all my social media handles. If you would like any of the products listed in today's video, everything will be linked down below, as well as the X Mondo website for hair color and any kind of hair care product. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.